ages, video games have existed for one purpose, to entertain. It all started in 1958 of October, when a physicist by the name of William Higginbotham created what was believed to be the first video game, a simple tennis one. It shared similarities to the classic 1970s video game to come, Pong. On the topic of Pong, it would come to be a hit in 1972 when it was released by Atari. Pac-Man was released in 1980, another hit. However, since the creation of the 1958 original tennis video game, local multiplayer had been a thing. Years would pass. As gaming would rise with more classics such as Dig Dug and Metroid, the question would soon arise. What if multiplayer gaming didn't have to be local? The first online multiplayer game was only available at universities and tactical corporations. Game against an opponent anywhere in the country. Wendy Woods tells us how. This is The Island of Kismai, a Dungeons and Dragons type of game, and Michael Orkin, a statistician who's designed and played his share of games, is playing it for the first time with two other people 2,000 miles away in real time via the CompuServe network. The first exposure of online gaming. This arrived in 1984 with ComputerServe having a game called Islands of Kesme. This, the first commercial online multiplayer game, was a role-playing game. However, the question raises, what was the one that really started it all for online gaming's popularity as we know it today? To start, a few other honorable mentions consists of The Realm Online, released in 1996, Habitat, released in 1986, Neverwinter Nights, released in 1991, Legends of Future Past, released in 1992, and Nexus Kingdom of the Winds, released in 1998. I'm sure you've heard of all of those iconic releases. But now, moving on, huge games that paved the way for the first person shooter genre online include Wolfenstein and Doom, a huge game that would pave the way for the online sandbox genre includes Minecraft, with its promotion of imagination, teamwork, and appeal to the younger generation. Since there were many different massive online games that made huge splashes in the industry, I've sat down with a few teachers and students to get their opinions on the matter of which that came along with some of the most detrimental to the gaming industry as a whole. Most definitely Fortnite, because like it's the first time it's a online cartoon game. Because like they take away, like, they basically took ideas from PUBG and mostly PUBG and they kind of turned it cartoony. Because like so, I think. It changed the game for a while, but now as you know, it's just it's starting to die down a little bit. But like in tw back in 2017, it was a big hit. Like people loved it, everybody loved it, kids loved it. Like it was a, one of the most popular games in the world, and it made tons of money. So yeah, definitely a Fortnite changed the online game world. You gotta go with Halo 2. Halo 2 was the game that started uh, online multiplayer gaming in the first place with Xbox Live. So uh, that would probably have to be my answer. Gotcha. Yeah, any more to elaborate on that? No. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I mean, it's not the best one. Modern Warfare 2 is like my all-time favorite, but definitely Call of Duty um, and like World at War and all that stuff changed what it is today. Also, Rupert is the most annoying teacher here at Somerset, and if he lit on fire, I would be happy. The end. Undeniably, Online gaming was a grand splash in the industry. The concept of playing games with another person, while it has always been around, is what makes video games special. If we could not sit down and have fun with others, what would video games even be anymore? While they are naturally just a pastime, video games would be nowhere near as special as they are today if they could not be enjoyed with other people whether they are sitting next to you or living in another country. 
As online gaming continues to make splashes, undoubtedly VR and augmented reality will help pave the way for a new era of online gaming. In addition to this, 5G will reduce lag and game devs will continue to experiment with new technologies to unravel and roll out m more and more special experiments and reads of games for players who to look forward to. However, it is important to never let gaming take over your whole life, as it is important to remember that they are truly just a pastime and it is into a way to have fun with your friends and family when it is the right time to have fun. Online gaming provides a way to experience gaming but on a new level with the ability to interact with other people, and this is what will continue to make it special.